Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video and we are back on Modern Warfare 3. I spent a lot of my time playing this game in the small map mosh pit and it was mainly due to the fact that I was going for camo challenges while also completing the events that were available in this game and it got me thinking, I spent so much time in that mosh pit that honestly I haven't really bothered to enjoy what else the game has to offer in terms of game modes so i figured you know what we're gonna go into search and destroy i have noticed that nowadays whenever gamers go to stream call of duty a lot of the times when they're playing multiplayer they will simply go and play search and destroy so i figured you know what i'm, I'm gonna give this a shot i'm gonna see how this goes I'm not a fan of one life game modes, even though I would be open to playing Search and Destroy, at the same time, it's not a game mode that I spent a lot of my time playing in, so I figured, you know what, I'll just give this a shot, just to see how I can fare. Ah, oh well. Now there are some YouTubers who do play a lot of Search and Destroy on Call of Duty who I am subscribed to, but even then, I don't necessarily remember the routes needed in order to get an advantage over the enemy team, but I'm going to do my best to hold my own. Alright, I think I know this route. You go up here, go up here. Ah, well... I just don't know how he gets there quickly. I, I just don't know, bro. Oh, damn. Ah, but he couldn't defuse on time. He couldn't even defuse the bomb on time, but that was pretty creative. I'll try taking this route. As I mentioned, I don't play Search and Destroy, so I don't really remember the routes to take. Ten seconds remaining. We're planting it Alpha. Guys in place. Countdown started. What? I can't believe he didn't even notice the. I can't believe he didn't even notice our teammate. Why are you sitting back there, though? Why? Then again, they are defending, so I can't really blame him for sitting back there. That guy. Couldn't get that other guy that's on the staircase. Dude, what I did not know was that you could go on that little, like, balcony that... I didn't even know you could go on that little balcony in your spawn. I did not know you could go up there. I went 3 to 10. Not off to a good start, I will admit. But, again, 
I don't play Search and Destroy that much, so I'm not familiar with the routes to take and so forth. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Season 5 of Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone will be releasing tomorrow. I do, I do intend on checking that out and indulging in the content that we have available at the launch of Season 5, so... It should be pretty interesting to say the least. I also found out news that Modern Warfare 3, the newer Modern Warfare 3, is now available on Xbox Game Pass. I honestly thought we were going to have to wait until Black Ops 6 to be the first newer entry to be available on Game Pass, but turns out that's not the case. Damn it, man, my accuracy. That was a horrible throw. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Bro, what the hell? The game lagged for a moment, and then somebody appeared right in front of me, and it caught me off guard. I couldn't even tell if that was a teammate or an enemy, and then I saw an enemy in their spawn, and then he ended up getting the shot on me. Place the charges on the target and destroy it. Oh, shoot. What? How are you going to tell me none of those bullets hit him? So, I was on Twitter last night. I saw a tweet that Charlie Intel had made a long time ago, and this was prior to the launch of Modern Warfare 3, where they reported that Sledgehammer, they confirmed that we would be seeing fan-favorite maps from other Call of Duty titles returning into the newer Modern Warfare 3 and post-launch seasons, and then it got me thinking, we really haven't gotten that many fan-favorite maps throughout the seasons that we have experienced in this game. Even the Ghost of Hope on Twitter, he ended up preaching the same exact thing. Like, these guys are liars. They haven't really bothered to bring back any fan favor maps into Modern Warfare 3, the newer one, I should say. It's very unfortunate because they straight up said that they would intend on bringing back some fan favor maps in post-launch seasons, but so far... They haven't really done that, and on top of that, we're not even getting any fan favor maps in Season 5. Of course, you're just laying right there. I even tweeted about this last night where I basically tagged Sledgehammer and I said, Hey, you guys did say, or at least that's what it was implied, that we would be getting fan favor maps in post-launch seasons of Modern Warfare 3 and you guys have not delivered whatsoever. Yep, of course. He's just laying right behind there. I suggested Sledgehammer should bring maps like Arcaden, Resistance, Mission, Village, even Bootleg. Those were some of the maps that I wanted to see Sledgehammer consider bringing back to the newer Modern Warfare 3 because, again, they mentioned that they would bring back some fan favorite maps and post-launch seasons of this game, but they have not delivered so far. So I figured, you know what? 
Season 6 is your last opportunity to do so before everybody moves on to Black Ops 6. I think it's only fitting that you dedicate Season 6 to bringing back a good portion of the maps that people really want to see make a return. Now, I don't know for sure if Sledgehammer is indeed going to dedicate Season 6 to actually bringing back some fan favorite maps into this game. I don't know for sure, but again, they did imply that we would be seeing fan favorite maps from other Call of Duty titles returning in Modern Warfare 3 as Charlie Intel reported and so far Sledgehammer has not delivered on that whatsoever and hell season 5 we're not getting any at all. Ooh collateral. And I got one trick camo for this weapon. Oh, God. Ah, oh, man. I was not expecting to get one trick camo for the FSS Hurricane, but, eh, I got it. The point that I'm trying to make is this. Sledgehammer, they claimed that we would be seeing fan-favorite maps make a return to Modern Warfare 3 throughout the post-launch seasons, but so far, they have not delivered on that whatsoever. And when you consider the fact that tomorrow we're going to be moving into Season 5, and on top of that, Season 6 is going to be the last season for this game, they still have yet to deliver on what they have claimed and what Charlie Intel has reported. But I'm really hoping that Sledgehammer will dedicate Season 6 of Modern Warfare 3 to bringing back fan favorite maps that people really want to see come back. That tweet that I was talking about in regards to Charlie Intel, I'll provide a link to it down in the description so you guys can get a better idea of what I mean. And that was me playing Search and Destroy. I will admit, I was doing very, very bad throughout the games that I've played. I just, dude, the only excuse that I can think of to justify my underwhelming performance is that I don't play one life game modes. I don't. I'm more used to playing respawn game modes like team deathmatch, domination, kill confirmed, etc. I don't really play search and destroy all that often so playing it this time around I let you guys down. I really did. I let you guys down with my subpar performance and all I gotta say is I gotta get better. I just gotta get better. But I want to know from you guys, are you looking forward to Season 5 of Modern Warfare 3 tomorrow? But also, let's say Sledgehammer does dedicate Season 6 to bringing back a lot of fan favorite maps to Modern Warfare 3. What are some maps that you would like to see make a return? Let me know in the comments down below. I want to know what you guys have to say. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you're more than welcome to drop a like on it. And if you enjoy this type of content, you're more than welcome to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. We are on the verge of reaching 200 subscribers on the channel. If you've been checking out the channel and you've been tuning into the content, but you're not a subscriber, clicking that subscribe button would mean so much to me as it would get us one step closer to that milestone. Until then, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy Discreet, and I'll catch you in the next video.